this video we're going to take a look at the update command. And the update command is just like insert and delete. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to update, we're going to take existing data and update that information. So we're going to take existing data and update it. And just like the other commands, there's a whole bunch of really interesting things that you can do with the update command but like insert and delete I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this video looking at this because most of the time you'll use some kind of application that will do the updates for you probably run some kind of forms application or visual basic or JDeveloper or something like that that's going to handle the updates so as a SQL developer or as a DBA, you probably won't have to write a lot of update commands. You may have to go in there to do maintenance on your system and uh, do these types of things. So you should know the basic syntax of what the update command looks like. But for the most part, uh, you're going to use some kind of application, usually to update data. You know, a typical example might be uh, human resources. Uh, somebody might change their home address or phone number. You would go in there and update it. Again, it'll probably be some kind of human resources application that'll handle that for you. But in some cases, you may have to go down to the SQL level and actually write an update statement. Again, pretty uh, rare to actually do something like that. But let's take a look at what the syntax looks like, just so everybody's on the same page. So I've been working with my music table up to this point. You can see I have a uh, artist, last name, first name, title, and rating. If I take a look at the data, uh, these are the 14 records that I have in my music collection right now. So let's say I want to go in there and I want to update some of the information. Let's say I want to, I've revisited one of my older albums and said, you know what, now that I, I've listened to it a second time, I want to change the rating. Uh, the rating just isn't as accurate as I want it to be. Or as a good example, uh, let's take a look at some of the, the two albums that I have there that have nulls for the values, you know, Rubber Soul and Sgt. Pepper. I added those to my collection. Uh, I didn't have a rating, but I wanted to get them in there, so uh, the rating was null. Now I want to go in there and I want to give it a rating. And, you know, Rubber Soul, one of my favorite albums, I'm going to give that a 10. So what's the value, what's the statement that I have to d use to update that information? Well, I can say update hr.music and I'm going to use a command called set. So I'm going to say set rating equal to 10. Now I have to be real careful because if I don't put a WHERE clause on this, what is it going to do? It's going to update everybody. It's going to make everybody a 10 and I don't want that to happen. I want to do it just for a specific uh, record in this case. So I'm going to use a WHERE clause and I can do this a bunch of different ways. How do I uniquely identify this particular album? Well, I can't say artist last name Beatles because I have multiple ones there. I can't say first name. I can't say where the rating is null. None of those uniquely identify this particular row. Uh, if I use that on my work list, I'm going to update multiple rows and I don't want to do that. So I want to say where title and I can either use a set value where I keep doing that. I can use a set value where I can say title equals rubber soul. That's a perfectly legitimate statement right there and I'll update that. Or if I don't feel like typing the whole thing out I can use the like keyword and say where it's like, and again, how do I uniquely identify this? Well, it's the only album that starts with an R, capital R. So I can certainly say we're like R percent. That's a legitimate statement. I can use either one of those. So I'm going to leave it like that right now. Click on hmm. I one row updated. I go into music. I refresh. And you can see that Rubber Soul now has a 10. I'm certainly not limited to just using equals or likes. I can use ands and ors and a whole bunch of the other uh, different things that go along with the WHERE clause. If you want to see more about the WHERE clause, I have a couple of videos that uh, specifically talk about all the different things that you can do with the WHERE clause. Uh, I encourage you to take a look at that. And that's certainly applicable to the update statement here. Again, just like my other statements, it's not really committed in the database yet. If I go into my uh, another session here, and I'm going to bring this up, and if I go into SQL plus slash as sysdba, 
and I say select star from hr.music because I haven't committed it yet if I go to rubber sole you can still see that it's a null value we don't have anything in here for rubber sole yet I haven't committed it to the database so once I commit that transaction it's not committed into the database I go into here I run the exact same command again I look up and you can see that rubber sole now has a rating of 10. So update, pretty straightforward. There's a really cool command that I'm going to talk about in another video called the merge command. And the merge command allows you to do something called an upsert. And an upsert is just what it sounds like. It's a combination of updates and inserts where you have a piece of data. If you want to put it into a particular table, if the row exists already, if it has a primary key and it exists already, it will update the necessary columns. If the row doesn't exist, then it'll insert the data. Really cool functionality. We'll take a look at the merge command uh, in another video coming up.